after Home Alone 2 director Chris Columbus claimed Donald Trump bullied his way into the movie, the former president, 77, hit back and said that was far from the truth. 30 years ago how time flies, director Chris Columbus and others were begging me to make a cameo appearance in Home Alone 2. They rented the Plaza Hotel in New York, which I owned at the time. I was very busy and didn't want to do it. They were very nice, but above all, persistent. I agreed, and the rest is history. That little cameo took off like a rocket, and the movie was a big success, and still is, especially around Christmas time, the businessman wrote via Truth Social on Wednesday, December 27. People call me whenever it is aired. Now however, 30 years later, Columbus, what was his real name? Put out a statement that I bullied myself into the movie. Nothing could be further from the truth. That cameo helped make the movie a success, but if they felt bullied or didn't want me, why did they put me in and keep me there for over 30 years? Because I was, and still am, great for the movie, that's why. Just another Hollywood guy from the past looking for a quick fix of Trump publicity for himself. He continued. As OK previously reported, Columbus revealed that Trump agreed they could shoot the movie, which features Macaulay Culkin, at his hotel, but there was a catch. Like most locations in New York City, you just pay a fee and you are allowed to shoot in that location. We approached the Plaza Hotel, which Trump owned at the time, because we wanted to shoot in the lobby. We couldn't rebuild the plaza on a sound stage, Columbus said in an interview with Business Insider. Trump said OK. We paid the fee, but he also said, the only way you can use the plaza is if I'm in the movie, Columbus explained. So we agreed to put him in the movie, and when we screened it for the first time the oddest thing happened, people cheered when Trump showed up on screen. So I said to my editor, leave him in the movie. It's a moment for the audience. But he did bully his way into the movie. Home Alone 2 Lost in New York released in 1992, two years after the original. This time around, Culkin's character, Kevin McAllister, as must find his way around the Big Apple while his family is in Florida, 